what is up guys welcome back to the channel and to another wwe 2k20 hidden feature covering some of the things that you might not know about this year's game such as easter eggs secrets rare unique and specific hidden features as always keep in mind that some of these features you might know some you might not but make sure to leave your suggestions down in the comments below so that we can cover it in a future episode before getting into it don't forget to elbow drop it and hit those notifications to not miss any of the upcoming videos and to start off we're gonna be talking about what's potentially the next dlc or a hint of some of the originals that we are going to be getting via either a dlc event or the next originals pack one of the glitches that we know when it comes to originals character is that if there are just a tire variation for that specific superstars if we copy a tire number one into a tire slot number two within the creation then more often than not that unlocks the dlc version of that superstar even if it's not supposed to be out just yet very interestingly when you do this with Carmella instead of the entrance being all invisible when you use her alternate attire number two you can see her as a cave woman even coming out with her own bone weapon which is more or less a cosmetic for the baseball bat the interesting thing about all of it is as I mentioned that we are able to actually see this entrance unlike other times that we do this glitch she also comes with her own victory scene the only thing that we don't get to see is what a specific attire slash skin she's going to be using because this is just her regular attire and the only thing that changes is the entrance motion there is sort of a caveman entrance that looks similar to this one in creation but this one is a variation of that so more or less it's its own unique entrance motion that i wasn't able to find to reassign it to someone else not really sure if this is going to to be part of some type of dlc event where carmella get her own tower or maybe part of the third originals pack dlc south pole regional wrestling which by the way the new day already teased it after you beat the seth rollins showcase the new day talks about eating some popcorn while watching some old school classics even fighting for a championship though. right they're fighting for things that you and I take for granted. Yeah, guys, you got to use your imagination. Where's the imagination? Kof, I can imagine a big plate of pancakes and a big bowl of popcorn. And I can imagine a, a big old couch. You know what? I think we should go check out some of those old school pay-per-views. Mm, you read my mind right now. We need some of those classic shows, man. Those are my favorites. We're going to do that right now. Ooh, bye -bye. Yes, no, guys, we're talking post-apocalyptic movie you. roles, man. And there's a yep. couch right here. Wait a minute. I like popcorn. I love popcorn. Guys, save some popcorn for your boy. Something that is always awesome to see, but we don't get to see it as often, is the Money in the Bank briefcase holder with its own championship, and that is still in WWE 2K20. At certain superstars like Edge, for example, if you have him as the Money in the Bank holder and he is holding a championship, he will actually come out with both. And it's just amazing how he actually looks pretty good with it. There are a couple of other superstars that also have special entrances when holding both the Money in the Bank in a championship edge of course has his own unique money in the bank entrance which looks awesome so with this title it looks even better Following the recent DLC, we got a lot of new moves, which we already mentioned, such as a Superman Punch into a Spear being a one finisher combination, a brand new Payback or the Seth Rollins Springboard Blackout, but another one that you might not know comes in the form of the Tag Team Division, and most specifically for the Boss and Hot Connection. As one of the DLC Tag Team moves, combine Bailey and Sasha Banks finishers in an amazing animation. The only downside to 
to this is that you will never get to see it unless you assign it so head over to creation moveset and assign it to Sasha Banks. It is the setup for the bank statement as we get to see Sasha Banks do a backstabber then Bailey's waiting for the opponent and once that opponent is up she goes ahead and hit it with a Bailey to belly. This move is the backstabber slash Bailey to belly combo. Sticking with the last DLC something you guys probably noticed is the fact that Seth Rollins the Wanderer he has his own special entrance and this entrance is inspired from Wrestlemania 33 where Seth Rollins took on Triple H and in it he came out with a torch ready to light up the stage the only different that in video game he actually does light it up in fire which is an entrance that looks amazing on the regular Seth Rollins so you might as well just assign it to him sticking with entrances and switching it over to Roman Reigns it's fair to say that the entrance that he has on the game by default it's already outdated but the interesting thing about it is that the most updated version is actually already in the game over the last couple of months Roman Reigns has changed his entrance where he actually does the Superman punch on the stage no matter where he's doing the entrance on pay-per-view Smackdown live or wherever before he only used to do it at Wrestlemania to let the pyro come out and all of that now he does it on a weekly basis so if you go to creation and assign him the Roman Reigns 2 entrance motion it will more or less beat his updated entrance where instead of him just looking around on the stage when he comes out he actually do the whole thing Superman punch into the stage to hype up the crowd and the last feature that we're covering is a new animation that came with the recent patch where the table actually break correctly when you have them stacked in the ring and you put an opponent through the roof of the hell in a cell straight down to it this didn't look as good before so I'm glad that they actually did a full animation where the superstar just fall down right to the middle into the double stack table instead of it looking like a complete mess anyways guys that is what I got for you in this hidden feature episode if you enjoyed don't forget to elbow drop it and hit those notifications make sure to leave your suggestions down in the comments below of any easter eggs secrets unique specific hidden features that you want me to cover in an upcoming video with that said join up if you haven't just yet as we underwent to 200,000 subscribers. I'll see you on the next one, so stay savage.